And, and as I speak about uh, banks, I just want to report on the issue with ECAB, which was raised uh, raised um, last week. Yes. They have um, undertaken to recommence their meetings uh, so that um, we could get this long, outstanding issue resolved. And the issue is about um, scaling up the government's um, shareholding in the in the bank with the understanding yes, the that we will subsequently divest those shares to Antigua and Barbudans. So ultimately, we don't wish to uh, have more shares than the 25% than we have. If anything, we'll sell part of the 25% as well. But what we want is to increase the national stake in ECAB because the assets are Antiguan assets. And right now you have 60% of the ownership of ECAB as non-Antiguans Antigua or non-Antiguan entities. Hmm. And that is why I'm so hot on this issue and um, I've, I've called him out. And I will continue to do so until I get it done because there's already an agreement in principle. And here's a situation which um, they are not only delaying, but they're prejudicing ultimately how much shares we will get for those um, preference shares. Because as I said last week, as they continue to um, add additional um, reserves or profits to the um, to, to 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 the equity of the bank, it will reduce it will reduce um, our shareholding in the bank. And what we're trying to do, we want to make sure that between the government and Ant the government of Antigua and Barbuda and ACB, that we end up with the majority shares. I don't know there could be anything wrong about that. Mm -hmm. And again, I mean, I'm not trying to shame anyone, but I'm holding the chairman of the board responsible, Mr. Walter. Mm. So my calling him out is nothing personal, but he has a responsibility to get his management um, to, you know, call his meetings and to get the two teams together and to resolve this issue. Mm -hmm. You know, myself and the very chairman, we spoke about um, this, this um, policy of the government even prior to us transferring the ABI bank shares to ECAB. Mm -hmm. That's since 2015. That's seven years ago. This so those who may think that I'm aggressive, not being aggressive here, you know. I am saying to him, to Mr. Walt and his team at ECAB, get the job done. What you're doing there, you're frustrating, um, you know, the um, government's um, policy decision. And it is designed precisely to increase our shareholding and ultimately to satisfy the ownership aspirations of our people. As you know, um, Senator, yes, ownership is empowerment. Indeed. And we can't have these individual, um, or individuals um, taking a position that they can act in their own time, or if they feel like do it, that they will do it if they feel like, when they got instructions from the government. These are instructions to you, get it done. I don't make no apologies about it. And me, I know sometimes you all feel maybe I'm hostile. I'm not being hostile. I want it done. And if I've been written to you on several occasions, I haven't picked up the phone on several occasions and I've spoken to you, and we can't get no movement, then we have to advise the people precisely what is happening because we have given a commitment to the people of Antigua and Barbuda that we will increase ownership, intellectual ownership by investing heavily in our education. There's no other country in the Caribbean on a per capita basis, yes, per capita basis that spends more money on education than my administration. So we are investing to build intellectual ownership we have provided financial subsidies for house ownership, land ownership, hmm. car ownership, even boat ownership and business ownership. This is Antigua Breaking News.